election. We gotta conduct the election, November uh, 2011. And I'm looking at this colleague of mine. And I'm thinking, you know, something's wrong here. He kept saying, well, you know, we gotta get the election going. We gotta get the election going. I raised my hand, which is improper. Improper to the fact if I just came out and said, hey, I want to speak. But I raised my hand to be recognized. You don't go from one moko to another moko and sit in a meeting and try to try to blend in with them. But I felt there at that time, because this is an issue that every Kanaka Maole, especially an elder, should take up. So uh, finally he says, uh, okay, uncle, what's, uh, what's, what's your problem? I said, brother, this sister is homeless already. <coughs> Been homeless for two months. We got a non-Kanaka Maole telling a Kanaka she cannot sleep on this land. And you're worried about an election. Election is nine months down the road. Let's fix what's broken first and then go after something that we want to conduct. So I called our prime minister and told him that I was going to go in behalf of the Nihau in Hawaii to speak, not as an official, not as a representative of the real state lawful Hawaiian government, but as a kupuna. I went to see the mayor of Maui, which conveniently he was not on the island, but I see the second in command. And I showed him this law. I showed him this law. Those of you who haven't read this law, let me take the time to read it to you. Kanawai Mamalahoa, or Law of Splitted Battle, also translated Law of Splitted Or, is a precept in Hawaiian law originated with King Kamehameha I in 1797. The law that every elderly person, woman and child, live by the roadside in safety is enshrined, enshrined in the state constitution, <coughs> Article 9, Section 10, and has become a model for modern human rights law regarding the treatment of civilians and other non-combatants during battle. It was created with Kamehameha when Kamehameha was fighting in Puna was chasing two fishermen, presumably with the intent to kill them. His leg was caught in a reef, and one of the fishermen, Kalaleki, hit him mightily on the head with a paddle in defense, which broke into pieces. Luckily, Kamehameha was able to escape. Years later, the state fisherman was brought before Kamehameha. Instead of ordering for him to be killed, Kamehameha ruled that the fisherman had only been protecting his land and family. And so the law of the splintered battle was born. The complete original 1797 law in Hawaiian translated to English. Enaka naka, enama lama oko ikiakua. Aele malama hoi kanaka, nui ame kanaka ike. Ehele ka, ele makule, kalua hini, kame kakama, Amoy ila ike ala. Aohe mea nanae 
Opilikia. Eva no maki. And why is last word there? Eva no. Disobey and die. That's it. Disobey that law and die. Well, I showed the bears a rep about this law. This is a full-blooded Kanaka. That a non-Kanaka is telling you cannot sleep. Yeah. Well, when I returned to uh, Hawaii uh, that that evening, I received a call from our Minister of Finance that said that the woman was allowed by the county to remain there until November 5th, 2011. That's the day of our election. So she could stay in that park there. Also, to, uh, because of that action, we uh, have uh, 10 more uh, the Inhawens as uh, citizens in our government. Fully fledged citizens, test taken, uh, citizenship, all this, and 10 more coming aboard. I believe they're, they're aboard now. These are Nihawits. And because all of these things is happening, we're in the right, right time and the right place. And you don't have to be, you don't have to have cocoa to be citizens. You don't have to have uh, Hawaiian blood to be citizens. All you gotta do is, if this is your home, by golly, you should, you should be part of it. Gary, uh, Gary has been one from get-go, from day one. Cat came aboard nearly, maybe three, four years now. She's been here, but these are dedicated people. I mean, uh, I know they give their lives, just like myself, for this. And we have, so, and I, I plead with you, I plead with each, each and every one of you, give one day to us. Have no other function where you gotta run and go uh, because you you gotta show face at someplace else. It's always, you can always say, hey, Kalamayao. I have a meeting in Puna. So you, de you determine what's important to you. This nation that you're gonna uh, uh, preserve for the following generations to come. For me personally, my personal feeling, my personal take is to preserve and protect <coughs> paradise for future generations. My ancestors, and we are the only people that been cut. Now you see these signs, I don't care. Well, Gary came up with one that says, I care. To counter that I don't care. I had an incident in Christmas. Went to Maui to spend Christmas with my daughter. She was gonna spend New Year's with me in Hawaii. But when we went to the airport, she said, Daddy, Let's go have a continental breakfast. I said, okay. So when I turned to go to the, when I turned to go to the, the restaurant, there's this gorilla, big old gorilla sitting on his hutches. Got a hula skirt on his forearm, both arms. <coughs> Got a lay pole. And a lava lava. Showing that he's a Hawaii. And we got it on film. This man right here filmed it <laughs> while I was talking to the officials there. And I said, get me your manager out here. They said, oh, we had three. Which one you want? I said, the biggest you got. Bring them all. And I told him, I said, when you overthrew Lilio Kalani, you put a bone to her nose. When Obama got elected president of the United States, you made him look like a chimpanzee. Now you got a gorilla sitting out here, you make him look like a Hawaiian. How come you don't make him look like a Texan? Put a 10 gallon hat on his head, uh, 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 a pistol belt, 
and cowboy boots on his hands. Or make him a sumo wrestler. Or make him a Muslim with a, with a rag wrapped around his head. You know? But no. You choose to uh, belittle the people's land that you come and squat on. So, you know, and then you got guys like Akaka who puts a bill forward and it crashes and burns. So my sisters and brothers, I'm just sharing with you uh, the past two or three weeks that went by and it's right. So we gotta we gotta fill up the tempo and get more people down to register. <coughs> a lot of uh, uh, a lot of our problem is not the non Kanakas, it's the Kanakas themselves. It's our old people that gives us the lift. Oh wow, you know. They all used to do handouts. Always want handouts now. Always want handouts. In our days, we work from sun up to sundown. But today, this is what they do, surf. And all they do is have fun, spend money, sleep, have fun, sleep. Because why? Because their parents do that. That's why the kids do that. Kids do what their parents do. And unfortunate, America's been here so long that they program, program the people. And it's all designed, these foreclosure and overthrow, these foreclosures and things like this, it's all designed. Nobody can tell me that they never knew in 1970 that we're gonna crash. So, do we want to bring up our families in the U.S.? No. So let's bring our government, make our government strong, and we listen for that. Knock, 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 knock. Who's there? Same. Landlord. Now we collect. Everybody that uses these land pays. No more. They like the brought on TV says. They like the brought on TV says. Uncle Sam, pay your rent. He's talking to the military, Uncle Sam. <laughs> so uh, that's what I wanted to share. So with the knee Owens, I'm happy and pleased that they got a piece of dirt that they could lay down on and not worry. I'm happy that we generated some 20 knee Howards into our ranks. And, uh, you know, we, we, we need commitment. Remember, just remember, you know, when we have a gathering like this for the commitment, <coughs> stay here. <coughs> and from the beginning, when the time we come to the time we leave, and we get talk star, get more familiar, get stronger and stronger and stronger. Strength, strength comes in numbers. I thank you. Thank you very much.